So we have a treat today. We have Mr. Vince Wilfork. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. First, I wanted to ask you, who do you think is going to be this year's NFL MVP? Ooh, I tell you what, Russell Wilson is playing like out right now. I mean, he, you know, ever since he was, was a rookie, you know, he came in and uh, and being able to lead the team to a Super Bowl and back to back and play, you know, play me in my last one. So I think right now, the, the type of football he's playing, I think it's going to be tough to get for right now. So he's my leader right now. I'm so glad you said that. I took a future on Russell Wilson to be the MVP. I've been on that Russell Wilson train for like the past three years. We have a game this um, Sunday, and I think you already know who I'm probably going to talk about, and that is the Patriots versus the Ravens. Who do you like and why? I uh, Ravens, hands down. Um, I think they're just a more complete football team, but I think right now, for me, you know, this Sunday, I'm taking the Baltimore. Um, I'm taking Baltimore to win it all. I'm on them. Um, I'm going to stay on them until somebody else show me that they're different. You know, you have a couple teams out there that I kind of like. Right now, uh, Baltimore is my team. Okay, so I'm a better. So you think it's like a three-point game, seven-point game? I think the spread right now is uh, minus seven for the Ravens. I'll, I'll see that. All right. Well, I am so happy that you are taking the Ravens and you're comfortable with that seven because <laughs> I'm rolling with you too. I'm taking the Ravens. I, I got a minus the seven. Is there any other teams that you have your eye on to potentially, you know, get to that spot where the Ravens are in your mind? Pittsburgh one. That's another team, but being in that division, I have to pick one, right? <laughs> but that division is tough. Um, my sleeper team is actually Arizona. You know, I kind of like what Arizona is doing. Right now we're in the middle of the season and everything, you know, eight games in, nine games in, whatever it may be. So it's like right around crunch time. You know when Thanksgiving comes, that's when football really starts. So right. um, at, at Thanksgiving, I might have a different opinion with some things, but I know for sure I'm going to continue to ride Baltimore because they've proven themselves, even when I play that, you know, every time I play Baltimore, I know it's going to be a tough game. Every time I play Pittsburgh, I know it's going to be a tough game because they're so physical, they match up well and stuff like that. And I love, I love teams that, that have that grit. And, you know, those are the teams I see that, that has that grit. Who is a player that reminds you of you right now in the NFL? Brandon Williams from Baltimore. Um, I've always watched him play. Um, that defense doesn't work without him. You know, they have a lot of good players over there, but uh, to run a type of defense, uh, you know, like Baltimore on the run, uh, they have to have a guy in the middle that, that's stout that that can do big and that can handle some business. You know, and they, and they had it on a Super Bowl run with Terry Bluetooth and that uh, Sam Adams. They had, when they had Ray Lewis, and you can ask Ray, you can ask any linebacker in the game, if you have big boys in front of you to keep you clean, you in heaven. So when I watch them play, I see a lot of things that I did in my career. Is the you back? No. <laughs> I want to see us get in the dog fight with a good team. Everybody can play a game from ahead and that's easy, but when you're in a dog fight, the true character come out. I think we're not too far off, but we, we, we're just not there yet. You're not back, but you're not there. So yeah. <laughs> we're some, okay. somewhere in the middle. All yeah. right, so um, next one. What is your favorite thing to throw on the grill? A rib, barbecue pork rib, absolutely, one thing. Oh, I love pork ribs. Those are, I, I would say that between that and a brisket, those are probably also like my two favorite things on the grill. Thank you so much for coming on and chatting with me a little bit about your background. Now I know that you're a pork rib guy. If I ever see oh, yeah. you, I'll, I'll make sure to buy you a couple plates. Oh, uh, right. oh yeah. <laughs> thank you oh, so yeah. much for coming on. It was so much fun. Uh, thank you. This was awesome, and I'm glad we had a great time with this.